Hello everyone, so now we are going to do one more lab for the OSPF. In this one we are going to use the interface method. If you remember whatever we done till now, what we done till now, we done by using the network command. If you remember what we are doing, whatever we done till now, we are writing like this, right? Router OSPF 1. Then you are writing network. Then here network ID, wildcard mask, area 0. Like this we are writing. Or if you want to define the router ID, you will write here router dash ID. And you will put whatever the router ID you want to give. If example, this is a router. This router is having this interface F0 by 0. And this router is having another interface F1 by 0. So we can say here this interface you want to advertise so you will write like network network id wildcard mass area whatever area we are using if we are using area 0 we will write area 0 so this interface will advertise now i need to advertise this one so i will write here network and after that whatever the network id whatever ip address assigned to this interface you will take that one and you will calculate the network id you will write here and the wildcard mass area Area 0, if all are in area 0, we will use area 0. This one you already remember, right? This is the method we use to configure the OSPF. This method is known as network command. We are advertising with the help of network command. We are advertising the prefix. Prefix we are calling this one, the network ID. We are advertising the network or prefix in the OSPF by using network command. We are calling this method. But in company, we are not using this method. Some companies use, some labs they are doing, some companies are using, but in the most of the companies, we use another method. That method we are calling advertising the network by using OSPF, by using interface method. Interface method. Output you will get same. You can use any one. But this one is much easier. That's why everyone is using this interface method. So what we need to remember, we can configure OSPF by using the interface method also. In the industry, in the company, you will see this method. But if you configure by using this method also, no issue, you can use this method also. That is up to you. Both are same. Means both will work same. They will give you the output both same. Up to you which you want to configure. Now what we will do, we will see here how we can configure by using the interface method. This method we need to learn. So what I will do, I will take some router and we will do the configuration. This is simple. What we done before, I will take some router. Let me take here two router. I will create the scenario. Example, you have head office and branch office. As we discussed before and we will connect from here to here. And we will connect from here to here and we can say I have some computer, I can take some computer here. Maybe I have two or three computer here and I will connect to the switch. This one we can say this is a head office example. So head office is having the some server also. And you have some branch office and in branch office you have some guys who is working in the branch office also. And you have some computer there. Example, three guys are there. So we can say this one is a branch office. And another one is a head office. This one is a head office. Now what we need to do here. If you see here. I can configure. Here let me take. I will put the IP schema. Whatever we are going to use. This site I will use 192.168.12.1. Slash 24. And this side I will write here 192.168.12.2 slash 24. And here this side I will use 192.168.1.1 slash 24. And this side I will use 192.168.2.1 slash 24. And configuration we will start now. So let me take the notepad. I will take the notepad here. And let me configure. I will write here 
what i will give here i will write here like uh, ospf configuration by using interface method here i can write in the bracket connecting head office to branch office with the help of ospf okay we are connecting head office with the branch office with the help of ospf now our configuration will start same thing as we do before i will write here r1 configuration i will write enable config t host name r1 then interface whatever interface you have this one this ip we need to assign here to this interface so i will use in the notepad i will write interface f0 by 0 i will write ip address whatever the ip 192.168.12.1255.255.255.0 i will write here no shut then another interface i have 0 by 1 i will write ip address 192.168. 1.1255.255.255.0 i will write here no shut okay this is the basic thing just we assign the ip address after that if you want to configure the ospf how we will do we will write router ospf1 or you can mute whenever you have any doubt you can unmute yourself and ask the question okay so what i am writing here router ospf1 then after that we are writing like this network before but now i am not using the network command i am using what i am using the interface method so if you want to define router id you can define here the router id if you don't want to define automatically router is going to figure out and he is going to take the router id so what we can do here i am using the interface method so you need to go under the interface where you want to enable the ospf and you need to write the command so i have this interface f0 by 0 so i will go under that interface after that i will write ip osp of 1 area 0 okay and i have another interface which interface see here this is the interface i have interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 i wrote interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 ip osp of 1 area 0 so here you need to remember if you give here 1 you need to write here 1 and whatever area we are using we need to write here if you give here 2 then you need to write 2 here this method we call as a interface method if you want to advertise the ospf by using interface method you can do this way now you put this command right so whenever you put this command ospf will enable under this interface okay ospf will enable under this interface so what we can say whatever the interface we put now we need to enable here also so you need to do same thing you need to write this interface and same command we can paste there so ospf will enable here now no need to write like network network id wildcard mask and then area 0 here shortcut easy method this interface method so now i will write that one so let me copy this same thing i will paste here and this is the interface f0 by 1 so i will write here f0 by 1 and this remains same okay because i am using here one so this also remain one and we are using area 0 so this remain area 0 that's all this is the ospf configure for configuration for r1 i can divide the notepad i can do the configuration for r2 also but before doing that one let me copy paste this in the r1 and check all are okay or we have any typing error or anything so first time we will write no and then i will paste this configuration if you see we pasted this configuration and you can check here you have the host name r1 and this is the interface ip assigned here everything is good and here also no error nothing everything is good so ospf configuration done here in the r1 if you want to save the configuration write wr 
and after that if you want to do the OSPF configuration to the second router you can copy the same thing and paste here and here you can change as 2 here you can change as 2 and you need to check here you have interface F0 by 0 here F0 by 0, 192, 168 12.2 you can write here 12.2 and what else you have here this one F0 by 1 you have here 2.1 you can check here what IP you have here you have 192, 2.1 and this is the method you will write router OSPF1 this is correct only and you need to enable the OSPF under this interface so you will write interface F0 by 0 IP OSPF1 area 0 after that you have another interface F0 by 1 so you will write interface F0 by 1 then IP OSPF1 area 0 here if you write 2 here you need to write 2 if you write here 1 then you need to write 1 only here ok so this is the configuration for R2 OSPF configuration for R2, R2 I go here and then I will paste the configuration here I pasted the configuration you can see here what error we have nothing everything were good no issue nothing now you can press Ctrl Z if you want to save the configuration you can save you can write WR to save the configuration and after that you can check ok you can check and you can see here neighborship form here and we have the status here like loading to full and loading to done this one we are going to discuss we have the OSPF packets and the state later we are going to discuss that one now you need to just remember here we have the neighborship and you can write here show IP root you can see here you are getting this root from the OSPF so OSPF is saying that is R2 is getting that one if anyone want to go to 192.168.1.0 network means here this side they need to forward to this IP this IP is the next hop and if you see this is ID value 110 of OSPF and this is a matrix matrix is nothing but cause of a OSPF. OSPF cost we are going to learn how to calculate later maybe today or tomorrow we are going to do the cost calculation. Now OSPF routing protocol uh, OSPF routing protocol will calculate the cost automatically but we should have the idea how they are calculating. So this one what we can say first you need to read this O. O means you learn this route with OSPF and if anyone want to go to this network they need to send the traffic this and from this much time this layer, this route is up and leaving interface is this one if you want to filter this one maybe you will say I want to see only the OSPF ok I don't want to see other things so you can write show IP root OSPF so whatever the OSPF route will there that will show you whatever the OSPF routes you are getting it will appear here that route only not the other route if you want to check only OSPF you can write show IP route OSPF so this one you have the route now if you assign the IP and ping it will work ok so let me assign the IP 192.168.1.2 and I will put this IP inside the computer if you see I go inside the computer I will put here and the gateway will be 1.1 same thing I will do here also 1.3 and I will put here gateway will be the 1.1 this side if you don't want to put the IP you can configure also example if you want you can configure the DSCP already we discussed so from DSCP you will get the IP so I will go here I will paste here and you can see here this one and here I can go I can put here this let me go here I will write here 1.1 .1. ok now we will assign here here we have 192.168.2.1 this is the IP we have and then we can go here and here we can put sorry 2.1 not 2.1 2.1 we already assign here so we need to put 2.2 here okay and then here you can put 2.1 as a gateway and here I will correct this will be 2.2 
same thing here i will put this one just i am putting this is a label you can put any ip anything but that should be from the same subnet so i am putting that 1.2.1 we use already 2.2 here 2.3 i am using here already you know this right and here i will write 2.3.4 okay and i will assign this i will go to desktop i will put here and here i will put as a 2.1 now you can ping and check it will work already the neighbor is up and you have the root also now you can ping it will work if you ping 192.168.2.4 it will work we need to wait for some time and after that we will check it is working or not so if you see it is working perfectly and maybe anyone want to access these services from the branch office they can access first they can ping the server and they can check server is working or not if you see 192.168.1.5 they will ping this is the server ip and if it is working they will access the website or whatever resources they want to access so if they want to access the web here maybe imagine this is your company website server so they want to check this one so how they will check they will go to this browser web browser like we are going in the google chrome they will go here and they will type the ip so what is ip of this server 192.168.1.5 and we can press enter so if you see when we press enter you get this one cisco packet tracer so you can access this server from the branch office you are trying to access the head office server and it is working perfectly okay it is working perf perfectly why it is working perfectly because we configure the ospf that's why you have the reachability can you do any other routing protocol also yes you can do if you don't want to use the ospf you can use the static route but it will be difficult if you have more router that's why we are not going for the static route we are going for the dynamic routing protocol and the dynamic ospf we are doing 